Hey guys, uh, Drada here. Um, welcome back to my Let's Play Episode 2. Um, so basically, Hadvar basically apologizes to you and says, Oh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna die, you know, but we'll be nice. We'll, we'll, we'll at least send your remains somewhere. Um, I really don't like that cap, that Captain Guard. Uh, if you... Try to run with uh, Stormcloak, you get the killer. And that's another bonus. You know, you start off with a heavy armor set. Um, personally, it doesn't really matter. But as I talked about in my first video, it's really up to you. Um, just so you know, um, I believe I did mention it. I do play on PC. But this intro is pretty cool, so I'm going to let you guys watch it. Nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Net, the lizard! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentries. What do you see? It's in the ground! <laughs> okay, so... At this point, you know, you have kind of two options. You can kind of just, like, go with the story and kind of like wait inside this tower or you can run ahead um i'm gonna wait because this is kind of an in-depth guide so we're gonna try to follow rayloff here so we're gonna do this the right way so what you gotta do is is that once you come into this tower um you kind of like run up the stairs and then Alduin kind of like breathes fire and kills a guy. And then you just got to go up here. You look out this window. You see the house across. So basically you jump. You don't have to. It is pretty much you cannot fail that. So and then you're going to come down here. And then you're going to come out here and you're going to see Hadvar. You know and he's... You know, Alduin's going to come and land to stay behind this building over here. Um, yes, I realize I took damage from the jump. So basically, after Alduin j leaves... So basically, you know, we were following Rayloff. Now we're going to be following Hadvar. So basically, um, you run over this way. You, you see this ramp. You, you follow the ramp and you jump up. So, and then Alduin lands, and you stay close to the wall, and he breathes fire, and yay. And then, after that's done, you follow Hadvar. Um, come on. Ow, that hurt. Okay, that was stupid. Dope. I've only ever had that happen twice. Um, that's the second time. So, come on, Hadvar. Go, go, go. So what you're going to do is is that you're going to, after you come out of that door, you come this way, 
and then you're going to run past these guys with the arrows and you're going to run this way and now you have your choice if you go to that door that i'm looking at right now that's if you want to follow Rayloff. but we are going to be following hadvar so we want to go through this door so it's really up to you um depending on which way you go it depends on which side you just you're going to be killing um so we get inside here and we're going to be following Hadvar. So basically you just got to wait for a story to happen and blah 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 Hadvar is going to be bleh, you know. And then you come over here and he's going to undo your ropes. So Basically, what we're going to do is is that we're going to come over here. Don't forget to come over here and pick up the uh, four measly gold. Um, trust me, you're going to want to get it. Uh, and then we're going to come over to this chest. This chest is right here. It's not this one here, but it's this one here. Make sure you pick that up because that's going to give you a little extra armor very early on. And then you're going to come over here. You see this chest here? Okay, we're going to pick this up and we're going to grab everything in it. And then we're going to come over here and pick up this iron sword. Um, you don't have to, but I recommend you do if you're going to be doing uh, dual wielding. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, equip one iron sword. We're going to go ahead and equip all the armor we just received. Then we're going to go over here in the magic. Um, I recommend equipping flames. And then you're going to come into your powers um, if you haven't are because basically none of these things come pre-equipped. So we're going to go ahead and equip our power his skin. We're going to look at our actives. As you can see, 50% resistant to disease and water breathing. Argonians are the only race to get three abilities to start. So and then Hadvar is going to go ahead and pull that chain and yay. And then we're going to wait for that bridge to come down. All right, great, let's go. Hey, look, it's the Imperial signal. All right, yeah, randomness, right? All right, and then we're going to come over here. Um, you can pull this chain, or you can wait for Hadvar to pull it. Hadvar being slow as molasses. So basically, Hadvar is going to try to talk to these guys. It's not going to work. You're going to have to kill them. So basically what's going to happen is is that they're going to realize, you know, that... So, and then what you're going to want to do is flame them. Because you cannot kill Hadvar. Hadvar cannot die. So, yay, magic low. Hit him with my sword. Power attack. Um, if you, you know, power attacking uh, drains uh, stamina. So basically you just want to keep attacking them and flaming every once in a while. And what that'll do is that flame is basically a great starting spell. Yes, kill Cam. All right, so now that I barely have any magic, so what we're going to do, if you're doing Imperial, I recommend picking up any armor. Um, any armor, definitely pick up one pair of fur gauntlets, but pick up all armor and weapons. Um, like I said, uh, you start off really low for gold in this, um, d following the Imperials, because most of the armor only sells for, like, uh, like 15, 20 gold, uh, when you're starting out in this area. Um, so, basically, so what we just did was, was that you basically are following Hadvar, so... Basically, Alduin pretty much blocks your path. So you come in here. Basically, just keep following Hadvar. So there's going to be, you know, two more Stormcloak. Kill them with flame. Provided you do not hit Hadvar. Uh, Hadvar will not attack you. Um, this is, I have found, the most efficient way of getting through this part of the game. Flame and um, so, like I said, you know, we're gonna pick up as much stuff as possible. We're gonna because, as you can see, the hammer only sells for 60, 
And the value of this Stormcloak Curious is 25. The Imperial one, well, let's go take a look at that. This one you pick up almost mostly if you follow in the storm cloak it sells for 75 that is a huge difference in gold so we're going to come over here to that chest pick up those potions do not forget to come over to this cabinet pick up the potions you can pick up the salts if you want but pick up the potions uh because you're going to need them especially early on especially if you're a beginner trying to play immediately on master trying to impress your friends uh make sure you pick up those Don't potions this way um, and then we're just going to follow uh, Hadvar continuously. Um, this part is a, um, easier on Imperial than it is when you're trying to follow Rayloth. Because these two guys hurt. They're the only mages uh, that, you're, that you come across. So if you want, uh, you could kill this guy right here. But I'm not going to because that uh, you can kill him. Come over here. Make sure you come over here. Pick up that mace. Um, you don't have to. I'm not going to. But pick up the shield because that's that's an additional 60 gold. Um, so when you're over here, make sure that you come over to this bag, knapsack, and pick up the lockpicks and the other potion. Make sure you do that. And then come over here. Make sure you loot. Uh, don't pick up the iron maces if they have one. They're actually not worth it, but definitely pick up the battle axes and the uh, Stormcloak uh, armors. So now we're going to wait for this guy to blah 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 So, and then that guy's going to come with you. Hadvar is going to come over here and ask you to unlock this cage. Yes, you do have four pick um, lockpicks, but make sure that you wait for Hadvar to give you the 12 lockpicks. Trust me, they're going to be so helpful. Let's see if I can get it right. Oh, no. Eh, eh. Oh, my God. Being destroyed by a novice lock. Yes. Bingo. So, and then you want to pick up the four gold, that potion, the, the book. Pick up the 25 gold, the two magic potions, and those uh, cloth things. They are extremely useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip the novice hood though it will drain my armor um what am i looking for uh blah, blah 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 oh right the book so make sure you learn that spark spell immediately you don't have to um i would recommend learning it it definitely makes it easy that spell is decently expensive very early on um you can try to lock pick those cages uh that's just more lock picking experience um when you come in here you can check these guys uh the skeletons should have about some gold. You can pick up the bone meal if you want. Um, but I'm just going to pick up the gold. As we know, gold is extremely useful. Um, so basically, what's going to happen is, is that you continue to follow these guys. Um, you're going to come down here. And then when you come across here, uh, eventually, you're just going to follow this path. It's kind of difficult not to miss. Um... Yeah, okay, I'm being dumb. Okay, we're going to burn you for a little bit, and then we're going to attack you with power attacks. Yeah! Okay, I'm getting my butt whipped. Okay, that guy is nearly... As you can see, fire, extremely effective with power attacks. So, make sure that you burn these guys. Try not to overburn uh, that other guy that's helping you. Yeah, okay, that guy's dead. So basically, a cool trick that you can do when you run over here with the archers, cast your flame spell, it'll hit them, and it will pretty much kill them. And that guy's being stupid and running through it. Let's not... All right, I got health low. All right, we're going to burn you. Burn Hadvar in the process. Yeah, good job, Hadvar. All right. So now that I'm practically half dead, uh, you're going to want to loot. If you accidentally do kill this guy, make sure you pick up his Imperial Armor set. Um, that That's just more gold in your pocket. Make sure you come over here uh, to wherever you... Make sure that you just loot because it's going to be that much more gold. 
um, in your pocket. And now I can't figure out where these other two guys died. Oh, there they are. Right. Loot. Loot. Alright, now I can't run. So, when you get to this point, it's going to fill up your bags pretty quick. What you want to do is you want to drop... Um, it, you kind of want to drop that iron um, axe. Just drop one because, honestly, that's just going to give you an extra uh, 20 space. Uh, yeah, we got you. Make sure you loot these two guys, the archers. Um, you're going to need that longbow and the arrows. So basically, what we're going to do now is that we're going to run here. We're going to pull that lever. You can wait for Hadvard to do it. I recommend doing it before he does it. And then we're pretty much just going to jump. And then we're going to make a quick left. Because honestly, a lot of people miss this. But that is an additional gold. And that's more gold. And that's another potion which you're going to want. So now, what we're going to do is, as we're running this way, uh, ahead of Hadvar, trust me, you're going to want to do that. We're going to go ahead and equip that longbow. And basically, you do this because, regardless of the class you're uh, playing, you're going to want at least one level before you leave here. Now, now honestly, we're going to want to archer these uh, guys and sneak. Um, and we're pretty much just going to fire kill cam. And then we're going to want to pretty much kill these guys. And that's another sneak attack. Where's the other spider? There you are. Yeah, sneak attack all day. So, and then we're pretty much just going to sneak up here a little bit until these two spawn. And then we're going to fire an arrow. Sneak attack. Oh, now I'm no longer sneaking. Okay, ouch, poison. So, you're going to want to archer pretty much these guys. I think I hit Hadvar there. Yeah, that was a wasted arrow. So, and then just loot them. Uh, that was a phenomenal loot. I picked up a ring. A silver garnet ring. That is just insane amounts of gold. But make sure you loot these guys because you can get back some of your, um, some of your arrows. Which you're going to want. Now, when you come this way, um, you're going to pretty much follow Hadvar. Um, make sure that you come over here and you're going to see a... Um... So what you want to do is you're going to want to jump. I would crouch and then keep jumping until you can pretty much... Okay, there we go. So, basically, he's going to give you a bow. It's probably going to be a little bit much. You see this iron war axe? I'm going to drop that. <laughs> All right. So, he basically gives you some extra arrows. You're going to want to sneak until you level. You're sneaking to 21. And then you're going to keep sneaking, and you're going to get as close as you want. And then you're going to start shooting arrows to increase to another level. This is basically just to spam out levels. Kill Cam. Alright, great. So we killed a bear. Make sure you come over here and grab that bear pelt. So, and now we're basically just going to switch back to that iron sword. So, at this point, we're pretty much done with the very beginning dungeon of the game. We're going to save when we get the river wood. Um, so, yeah. So let's keep going. Yeah, come on, Hadvar. You're being slow again. So as you can see, we are almost to level two. Woohoo, Hagraven. Hagraven, Hagraven, Hagraven. Yay. All right, so basically you can, if you look up, you're going to see Alduin pretty much fly off towards roughly the direction that you're going to need to go. So basically... Basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to follow Hadvar, though you can choose to or not. Um, so, actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to run. So, what you want to do is pretty much you, you're going to see a stone kind of like on your uh, bar up at the top. You're going to want to look at that. Uh, if you don't know what that is, um, that's pretty much everything near you in your vicinity on the map. 
So we're just going to run towards that stone. Just on a straight shot. If you move too far uh, from off the road, uh, you come across some bandits. I've ran, accidentally run through there a couple of times. Don't do that. Don't be, don't be that noobish. Um, basically, come over here. You're basically just going to run down. And basically, you're going to grab one of these. Either the warrior stone, the mage stone, or the thief stone. So let's take a look at these real quick. Uh, thief stone will give you um, all stealth skills 20% uh, faster. Uh, this is the mage stone. Um, it's basically going to level all your mage skills 20% faster. But what we're going to do is that we're going to grab the warrior stone. Which is going to allow us to smith a lot faster very early on. So basically at this point we're just going to follow this road. The long winding road. Yeah, sneak, no, sneak, no. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, what, what, what was I talking about? Okay, great. Yay! Look at the beautiful scenery. So gorgeous. Yes, it's gorgeous. Oh, look at the trees. Look at the mountain. Ooh. Yeah, so if you haven't noticed, oh, crud, wolves. I keep forgetting about these guys. Not really. They're pretty easy to detect. And flame is amazing. And then you're going to want to attack them. That's a level up. Okay, that wolf. Okay, stop fleeing. Basically, you do want to try to kill all three of these guys because that's going to be some leather. So, basically, what you want to do is loot all three, get their wolf pelts. That. Oh, that's a garnet ring. I will totally take that. That's just more gold. And then we're going to take those wolf pelts. And once again, we are completely overrun with crap. Eh, hey, drop that. That's worthless. Okay, great. So, basically, we're just going to run and run and run and run some more. So, yeah. Uh, we're just going to keep running. Oh, crud. Out of stamina. So, you know what? Let me go over, um, gotta take that level up first. So, we're gonna go ahead and level up here when we get the Riverwood. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to get out of here. And I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, I might make another episode for you guys. So, this way there's three up there on my YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, can't wait to see, um, it's a brand new channel. Uh, it has nothing on it, so I'll start getting content up there. Um, I'm trying to think about, you know, some other stuff for Skyrim that I can look at. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's, uh, go ahead and quit here. We made it to Riverwood. And, yeah. This is pretty much an in-depth let's play about, you know, kind of how I play. And, you know, what I recommend looking at and stuff in Skyrim quest-wise. So, yeah. Yeah, whatever, Hedvar. Things are quiet. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to get out of here and um, talk to y'all later.